will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Um, today is August 23rd, and this is Ramon Pakamazov. And together, together with Joe Goban, uh, we are putting together session number 16 um, of Wyckoff analysis on Chinese markets. Um, thank you so much for being patient with us throughout the summer. We had a couple of breaks uh, because both me and Joe Govan were traveling. And now we're back. Um, and hopefully we're going to just resume our weekly updates on the Chinese markets. 这里是罗蒙伯格马佐夫教授今天我将跟我的学生赵国本再一次录制视频非常感谢大家耐心等候因为这是一个夏天然后我和我的学生都在有很多旅行计划所以我们中间断了几次视频非常感谢大家耐心
，现在目前呢，在第二个支撑点的这一个呃，在这个交易区间之内，然后再呃盘整，在盘整呢，我们可以看到下面还有两个支撑点，一个是支撑点三，支撑点四，在这里，呃，这里面有一个密集交易区。那么现在我们要研究的是，那么股市会下降、下跌到第三个支撑点和第四个支撑点这个密集交易区呢，还是在这里面会有一个反弹，在这里面继续的盘整 ？One of the things that I want to point your attention to is the way how distribution has unfolded. We we've talked about the institutional presence in this area right here, and we've talked that they were selling on the way up. And then they were selling on the way down. And look at this particular bar, this big green bar to the downside. If we look at all of the bars、uh, to the downside on the way up in this uptrend, we see that this is the largest bar. This is a change of character bar that tells us that something else, rather than the existing uptrend, is happening, and that the distribution is probably happening. And then inability of the rallies, you know,、uh, to come back to the previous higher levels, show us weakness, and that was,、uh, you know, a main premise for our bias analysis at this point of time,、uh, and we were thinking that it's going to go down. So lower highs, lower lows, a definition of a downtrend. 嗯，呃，罗猛教授提醒大家，首先看一下这个部位，这个部位是什么呢？是是价差增大，而且是你看这个速率一一个一个半的话就降到了这点，这个地方明显它的从价差来讲，从速度来讲和以前所有的这些个呃蜡烛图蜡烛线都已经不一样了。这而且呢，这里面成交量非常高，所以说我们从这个成交量上来说。从这个速率上来说，可以看到机构在这里非常活跃，而且呢，那么既然这个线是阴线的话，我们可以看到，而且成交量非常这么高，我们可以看到机构在上行的时候是非常活跃的，而且下跌的时候也是非常活跃的，也就是说，机构有可能在上行和下跌的时候同时在派发。那么从这个价差。和速率来讲，我们可以看到这这条两条线和以前的线都不一样了，所以我们说在这里面是属于特性改变，也就是它的性质，股市股市的性质，在这两条线中和以前的线，以前的移动都不一样了。而且呢，我们从这两条线派发完以后，可以看到在这个交易区间之内，那么这个蜡烛图已经不能够再回测到以前的高点，所以说现在出现了。底底比底低，底比前底低，顶比前底，底比顶比前顶低的情况下，那么也就是说，底比底低，顶比顶低，那么这就是下行趋势的表现。Well, the biggest question here is if we are at the level of the support, could we possibly go up from here? And obviously, we want to see some kind of institutional presence here. Are they buyers at this point of time? So, how do we decide this? Well, one of the ways for us is just to go to the daily chart and look at the action there, which we're going to do in a second. The second thing is just to look at the original accumulation and kind of notice the pattern of how the、uh, the shares were accumulated during that period of time, and we could see that we had. A、somewhat of a good rally on the increase in demand signature, and then a good reaction that created a high low on the contracting supply signature, and then the next move up also had the increase of the demand signature、uh, before we had some kind of backing up action on the lower supply levels here.、Um, do we see it here on the right? I don't think so. I don't see it yet. I think that. At the maximum, we might consolidate here, or we might try to go up and then possibly try to retest even the lower levels here. There is a lot of still、uh, politics that is going on between China and the U.S. on trade talks, and this is the major、uh, factor, obviously, as all of you know,、uh, in how the price structure.
nature of the uh, Chinese markets develop. Um, so it's a news-driven market right now, but it clearly has a technical trend to the downside right now. And all of the attempts to go up, we just need to follow them and see whether institutions are going to be present at this point of time. And it seems to me that institutions are still waiting. They, it's a wait game for them. They're waiting for some kind of more positive news from the trade talks. Hmm. 我们要从成交量上来分析然后到这里面有一个回踩我们要再往后面看,看看它的表现会是什么样的。All right, well, let's look at the daily chart. 我们看一下日线图。And we see that on the daily chart, we are clearly in the downtrend. Lower highs, lower lows. That's a conventional definition of a downtrend from technical analysis. We see that we have two formations here, uh, two consolidations. One has been concluded already, um, and that was just a TP formation or a TP distribution where we have, we see the urgency in this area by institutions to sell. So they are selling, and we see this from the volume signature, both supply increasing on the way up and supply increasing on the way down. Uh, so that's an institutional signature for the Chinese markets, which is so unique, and I want to stress this out. Um, uh, you know, you could see that distribution happening. And because of the urgency um, of selling on the way up and on the way down, the TP formation forms where the next, all of the next rallies are failures to retest the previous climactic high. 我们看到明显的这里面有一个极上极下涨棚顶式的结构 机构在卖出大量卖出，而且我们看到这个卖出的急切性，这里面出现的卖出的急切性，机构卖出完以后，在这一段时间形成了一个盘整阶段，在这个盘整阶段之后，看很这个拉上升波段不能够达到以前的这
that are holding on to their uh, positions, and then at some point they're giving up on their positions. And that's what produces this big, big volume signature, increasing that gaps, big spread to the downside. So we see where late institutional capitulation has happened. Hmm. Uh, Romanlash现在指出了三个点位，你看这个点位和这个点位和这个点位，他们有个共同的特点，第一是呢是有跳空，第二呢是他们价差非常大，第三呢是他们的成交量非常非常高，这是三个可以类比的点位，这个点位说
Um, so uh, we, for us to see a more bullish scenario, the price has to overcome the previous resistance in a specific way. And so far, all of the rallies that we see are very weak. Uh, so until the rallies will become of different quality, more of bullish quality, where institutional demand comes in behind them, we are going to assume that we're still in the downtrend, and we're going to assume that this is a redistribution, and we're going to continue with that thought for now. Hmm. 还没有反弹这个高点如果在这个出现之前，我们都会认为这个趋势恐怕，如果在需求出现之前，我们都会认为这个趋势还是下降趋势，而且大家从周线图上也看到了，这里面还有一定可以跌落的空间。Alright, um, let's look at Chenzhen composite. Now Chenzhen is weaker, uh, and this is a long-term chart. It's weaker than Shanghai. Why? Well, because it's already below the areas of the support um, that were formed prior uh, to where the price is right now. And obviously, we are in the downtrend with the lower highs, lower lows. So the definition of the downtrend the same as in Shanghai index. Mm,我们看一看深圳成指的周线图，明显来说，深圳成指比上海上证综指来说要弱。这个弱表现在哪呢？表现在你看，大家记不记得，这是第三支撑，它现在已经突破了第三支撑，下降到这个呃调整调整区域了。而且呢，大家看到它也是在下行通道之内。And we still don't see any institutional presence here. We would be expecting something. Like an increase in the volume signature, specifically increase in the demand, if institutions are buying, and we would see some kind of uh, much more uh, meaningful rally uh, to uh, support the premise of institutions buying, and we don't see it here yet. Um, from this, 成交量增加，在这里面，如果是说股市情况有变化的时候，我们可以看到，哎，它的需求增加了，成交量增加了，而在这里面我们没有看到机构能够把成交量带动起来。But there is definitely uh, an area of value, as we could see from this area. This is where they bought before. So we are already in this area, so we would be thinking of looking for any of the signs of institutions coming in, stopping the downtrend, and only then, only then, would we start thinking about some of the positions to the upside. We can see that the value of the market has increased in the value of the market. Why is it the value of the market? It is because it is the value of the market in the past 2013. 那么我们在这个区域的时候，我们会密切观察，看看机构会不会在这里有所表现，有所吸筹。All right, let's look at the daily chart, and again, we are seeing how in this area right here, the uh, uh, Shenzhen index is much weaker than Shanghai, um, so we want to acknowledge that. Um, and again, it's all in the downtrend uh, with the lower lower highs, lower lows. Um, so we are in the daily downtrend. Um, and the again, inability of the rallies 
to make a significant progress um, on uh, first increase in demand signature with the increase in supply and then diminishing supply so there is some kind of ease of movement to the downside um, suggest still a continuation of the downtrend and suggest the weakness even if we are going to have some kind of attempt to go up we are going to be really skeptical until the rally actually provides us with evidence that the, ch uh, the change of behavior has happened uh, so far we don't see that hmm. 深圳成指的日线图来看呢我们看到首先它处于下行通道之内还是在下行下跌波段第二呢我们看到从这里面可以看到它比上证指数上证综指要弱而且这也是顶比顶低低比底低所以所以是技术分析的典型的下降趋势
that is happening at this point of time uh, where they were acting and selling on the way up and on the way down now it's, th there is still some supply but it's not as big um, but there is definitely not a lot of demand that is taking us up uh, so and that's the biggest concern if there is no demand then there is no absorption of the supply 那么从这一段来说呢，我们可以看到它的是出现了呃顶比顶低，底比底低的结的情况，也就是说这是一个下行的通道，下行的趋势。那么从这里面来说呢，我们看成交量上分析来说，那么我们要问的是有没有机构在
All right, let's look at the daily. So a very interesting structure at the top where we said that there is a climactic run that is also associated with the increase of the supply and the initial distribution on the way up. And then increase of the supply and distribution on the way down. And then we have an apex formation or a triangular formation um, that is very tricky, you know, to trade uh, because you could originate a lot of positions to both upside and to the downside. And until actually this apex is resolved, um, you know, or whenever it starts showing us the signs of, um, let's say, one, um, uh, one uh, force over another. And this chart, you know, is a different in color. So please, you know, pay attention to this because, you know, the red means down and the green means up here. Uh, so it's a little bit reversed from the Chinese markets. But um, we're seeing that whenever supply is increasing on the breakout, uh, this would identify institutional capitulation and would suggest that the bias is to the downside. Hmm. 我们看这一段这一段是一个楔形或者有些人可以可以说哎把近似于一个长方形这个波段来说是比较难以操作的除非好多人可以在做波段操作的时候可以做一些那么这段的时候很难看出趋势是什么直到这个楔形结构被突破
Um, and thank you again for joining us um, uh, after a summer break. Uh, so next week, uh, we're probably going to post the video on Friday, uh, just depending on how our schedule is going to go. But um, if you have any questions, email us at um, like of trading at hotmail.com, uh, either in Chinese or English. Uh, we would love to hear your comments, maybe even some requests, you know, that you have. Um, and let's just see how we're going to continue with, uh, with this uh, uh, exercise on creating these videos. Thank you all, and bye-bye. Today, we will share with you the next video. Next week, we will be able to share the video on the next week. We will be able to share the video. 呃，优酷里面，呃，非常感谢大家跟我们交流，希望你们大家跟我们继续发邮件或者留言，在邮件和留言的时候，你可以呃分享你的想法，甚至来说你想看什么。